You've linked your eBay account and your Amazon MWS account to Inkfrog. Your import is built. You're excited and ready to get your Amazon products imported to begin selling on eBay. But we need to hold off on importing for just a few moments yet. There are some extremely important sync settings to set up within your Inkfrog account. These settings let the Inkfrog software know what you would like to sync between eBay and Amazon. To access the sync settings, navigate to Settings and then Store Connector and select the Settings button to the right of your Amazon username. The first field on the Store Connector settings page is Display Name. Enter your display name and this is only viewable to you so feel free to enter whatever you'd like here. If you're tracking your inventory within Amazon, you're able to sync inventory from Inkfrog to Amazon as well as Amazon to Inkfrog. Inkfrog also offers the ability to sync orders to Amazon. When sync orders is enabled, Inkfrog will create an order within Amazon if your products ship using FBA. For products not shipping through FBA, the orders will not be created within Amazon and must be managed from within Inkfrog or eBay. If you've selected to sync orders, select settings to the right of sync orders and you're able to select the shipping speed for all FBA orders. You're able to offer a lower available quantity of products on eBay than the quantity that you have available on Amazon using the Allow Separate Inventory quantity on eBay setting. If you enable Separate Inventory, the options to restock eBay inventory as well as automatically restock eBay inventory are offered. When enabled, the Restock option offers a quantity value field to limit the quantity that eBay is restocked to based on the quantity you've restocked your Amazon product to. Let's go over an example. So if you have an eBay quantity at a value of 2 and the same product on Amazon has a quantity of 20 and you restock your Amazon product to a quantity of 30, which is an increase of 10, with the restock value field empty, the eBay quantity would also increase by 10 and become 12. If you set a quantity value of 5 for the restock quantity value, then the eBay quantity would be restocked to a maximum value of 5. Auto Restock eBay Inventory is the next option and it requires values to be entered. For example, if you would like your eBay listings to auto restock based on eBay sales and you want to keep the eBay quantity at 5, you could enter the values when quantity reaches 4, set to a fixed amount of 5. Then when you have a sale on eBay, which reduces your quantity to 4 or less, Inkfrog will check your available inventory on your Amazon product and as long as the quantity is available, Inkfrog will restock eBay to the quantity of 5. So the difference between restock and auto restock is that restock is based on restocking the quantity available on your Amazon product, and auto restock is based on eBay sales. If you choose to use the eBay quantity import limit, when you import products from Amazon, the eBay quantity will automatically be set to this amount as long as the Amazon quantity value is at or above this amount. If this field is left blank, the full Amazon quantity value will import. You're also able to sync title, description, and pricing from Inkfrog to Amazon as well as Amazon to Inkfrog. If you intend on making any changes to the product title, description, or pricing for your eBay listings, we recommend turning off these sync settings in both directions. Also, if your Amazon titles exceed 80 characters, we definitely recommend turning off Title Sync both ways since eBay will truncate titles at 80 characters. With Price Sync from Amazon to Inkfrog enabled, you also have the option available to add or subtract to your eBay pricing based on the Amazon pricing for all imported products. This may be done by percentage or by a flat monetary value. In this example, we are increasing our eBay pricing 10% above Amazon pricing. Please note that in order to increase the eBay pricing, we've entered 110 in the percentage value field. If we were to enter 10 into this field, the pricing on eBay would be set at only 10% of the Amazon prices. If your Amazon product runs out of stock, is deleted, or is hidden, Inkfrog can end the associated eBay listings early with these sync settings enabled. If you've enabled end eBay item if out of stock, there is an additional option, which is consider item out of stock if store quantity falls below. Increasing this value can help prevent overselling when there is a delay with Amazon updating their inventory reports after a sale on Amazon. There can be delays in Amazon updating Inkfrog due to quantity reductions from sales that occur on Amazon. 
we highly recommend using the Consider Item Out of Stock option. As an example, if you set a value of 10 in this field, Ink Fraud will change the quantity on eBay to zero once the Amazon quantity reaches nine to help prevent overselling. Next is import new variants from store. If enabled, and if you have imported a product to eBay that already contains variants, and then you add a brand new variant to the product on Amazon, Inkfrog will import the new variant and post it to the eBay listing. If there are variants of a product on Amazon that you do not wish to share with eBay, enable Allow Disabling Variants. And then in the Edit Listing page within Inkfrog, you are able to disable specific variants of a product if the listing is not yet live on eBay. So what are import limits? Well, the import limit is useful if you have a large amount of products to import. Selecting No Limit will build your entire product catalog on the Import from Store page. If you select any other option, the selected value will build on the Import page and once it's complete you may import those products to list to eBay or choose to import the next batch of products. This is especially useful if you have a very large inventory on Amazon. The Amazon Fulfillment Latency setting is only visible for Amazon and only when Inkfrog to Amazon Quantity Sync is enabled. This is the handling time within which you will ship your products ordered on Amazon. When Inkfrog updates Amazon to sync quantity, it is required that we also update the fulfillment latency for that product. The setting only applies to products that are manually fulfilled in Amazon. To finalize the settings, be sure to click the Save Settings button. You're able to return to your sync settings at any time to reconfigure the sync rules. But please carefully consider how any changes you make will affect your existing and future product listings. Also, if you are uncertain about any changes you would like to make, please reach out to our customer care team by selecting the help icon within your account or simply email open at inkfrog.com. And now you're ready to begin importing from Amazon to start selling on eBay. Thank you.